Hello everybody and welcome back to Wise Words Wednesdays with Rev Deb. This is week 14 but um, of my internship, but week two of me telling you a little bit about my thoughts. So if you recall, last week we talked about people aggravating us. And you know, if you think of them as your teacher, they're teaching you what is something that triggers you. And again, nobody wants to look at why we're triggered. Nobody wants to investigate what is annoying them or why on a hair trigger, we're losing it. And so if we take that opportunity and we even just once think, why is it? What is it that they're doing that's annoying me? And again, we get still in ourselves. We take a deep breath, which is very hard in the moment. Trust me, <laughs> I'm not good at counting to 10. Um, you can then see what's going on for you. And it's so, so, so important to take those breaths. So what I'm gonna suggest is that you actually do some breath work outside of the moment, right? So before anybody's triggering you, here's an opportunity. Now, they have done studies that if you look at the book Breath by James Nestor, back in the 30s, people were breathing five times a minute. In the 70s, it went up to like seven times a minute. Now, if you go to a doctor or a nurse and you are breathing less than 12 a minute, they think there's something wrong with you because typical people are breathing between 12 and 20 times a minute. And so all of this breathing so much is stressful because think about it. If you're in the wild and you're gazing out into the horizon, breathing and relaxed, something could come and kill you. Like a, a lion could come get you. So people, when they're breathing that heavy, they're, they're stressed, they're running from something. So what I want you to do is it's going to take a minute, a long time for you to get to this point, but breathe in for five seconds. And that was only three and then out for five seconds. That was five. Very hard to do that, especially in the hustle and bustle of the day. So you need to get still maybe before you go to bed or in the morning before you get up. See the longer you can make your inhalations and exhalations and see if you can make them exactly even when you do five breaths uh for five seconds you do five breaths a minute you get five liters of uh air into your lungs and it really settles you so remember we have a ministry we're trying to help people with the rent the information is at the end love you so much life i'm loving every minute of it and i'll talk to you next week bye